Today, you will hear from AND and our partners about the transformative power of innovation, how AND and its partners are transforming the computing experience of the end user, how, we, how our industry itself is transforming, and lastly, how AND itself has transformed as a company here in its 40th year. With that, it's my honor to introduce Senior Vice President of AND Product Group, Mr. Rick Bergman. Hey, today I got great news, because we together are going to make history. So for the first time ever here at Computex 2009, right here in Taipei, you're going to see the first demonstration of DX11. So uh, get ready. It's, it's going to be an exciting presentation this morning. So why is DX11 so important? Really, three different things. First, it's the, really the biggest inflection point in the graphics in 10 years. It's a very important change in, in our industry. Secondly, it's the adoption we're seeing from software developers throughout the world. And you'll hear from a few of them later in the presentation. And then the third, third part that's so exciting for us at AMD, as I already said, we're going to show the first demonstration today, and you're going to see a number of products come out later in 2009. Of course, we don't do this alone. We depend on partners such as Microsoft and TSMC. And an example of what we've done is if you look at the process technologies, we've been in a leadership position, the first company in seven consecutive process nodes with our partner TSMC. Today, we are fruited with a much better product, a very competitive product with higher speed, lower power, and lower cost. On behalf of TSMC, I want to present the first functional AMD DX11 and 40 nanometer wafer to Rick, also to celebrate their 40th anniversary. So when we talk about DX11, why are we so excited about DX11? It's a new application programming interface. It brings forward something called compute shaders. And that's the ability to unlock the massively parallel capabilities of the graphics processor. To move the world forward, you really need to move forward with industry standards. And that's what DX11 will really allow us to do, to unleash these compute shaders into new and exciting applications. And so we really appreciate the speed by which AMD is delivering new innovations, the partnership we've had in bringing these technologies to life. And I think the partnership will continue to drive forward to bring these technologies to market to help stimulate the industry and move us all forward. So again, I've talked about some really cool things for software developers to, to, to do with DX11 hardware. Whether it's tessellation, whether it's multi-threading, whether it's using those compute shaders, or, or new high definition uh, compression. And as you heard from our partner TSMC, as well as from AMD, that we'll be the first to deliver DX11 GPUs later in 2009. And if you take any intensive gaming environment or high performance environment, again, the most compatible, stable platform is AMD. It was important for us to have a key OEM partner to bring forward this, this vision as well. And in this case, it was HP. They worked closely with us to come up with a, a product now known as the HP Polyvian DV2. Very thin, great battery life platform that also is able to support Blu-ray and have discrete graphics in it, all for a very affordable price point of less than $750. We are very proud to be able to partner with another innovative company, AMD, to bring about the best balance. We are very, very thrilled to announce in this Computex, right, to have the DV2. This will improve the performance by leaps and bounds. It's my pleasure to now introduce two new desktop processors from AMD. The first one, a Phenom 2. It's a black edition. It's the first dual core solution that we've had, over 3 gigahertz of performance. It's really targeted for those enthusiasts that are also keeping a little bit of the economy in mind. We want to spend about $100 on just a fantastic overclockable CPU. We also have, are announcing the Athlon 2, uh, X2, another dual core processor. 
Again, it's, it's, we're moving from 65 nanometer to 45 nanometer. So as you could expect, not only do we get the higher clock rates and better performance, but also uh, as much as 50% better power than, it, than its predecessors, which really leverages the 10 years of great solutions that we've had under the Athlon brand. So the latest member of that, that fantastic family. So at this time, AMD really believes that with the AMD 6-core Opteron processor, previously known as Istanbul, we really have the right platform at the right time. Because this is the industry's only 6-core processor with Direct Connect architecture for the 2-socket space, the 4-socket space, and the 8-socket space all at the same time. And we talked about enhancing the performance of, uh, per watt efficiencies and this processor has up to 34% more performance per watt in the same socket in all the existing platforms while delivering on our, on our commitment of compatibility, stability, and upgradability. We've gone ahead and we continue to introduce the constant features and, and of AMD V technology for virtualization, as well as the AMD P technology for power management technologies. And once again, these features are common across both our quad-core processors and our six-core processors.